Number 31. Apply the loop rule to loop A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A in the following figure. All right. So uh, whenever they tell you how to identify the loop, you kind of have to take that order uh, into account. In other words, they're saying A, B, C, D, etc., etc., etc. So when we look at the loop down here, we want to go from A to then B to then C to then D to E to F, etc. Okay? So basically, we're going to start at A and we're going to work our way clock uh, clockwise. Clockwise. I'm just learning how to speak. Clockwise. We're going to go clockwise around the circuit beginning at A. All right? So let's start. So we now what we're going to do is uh, keep in mind what loop rule is, actually. So loop rule, all it says is that the sum of all of the potential rises, you can label that as E, right, or V, the sum of all the potential rises minus the sum of all the potential falls should equal zero. That's what loop rule is. So what I have to do is I have to identify uh, what locations and what's happening uh, to the potential at certain key points. In other words, uh, if we start at A and we're going to travel clockwise around the circuit, ooh, we hit this resistance now. Okay, we hit this resistance. And whenever you hit a resistance and you're moving in the direction of the stated current, in other words, the current here is moving clockwise, right, around the circuit. And you're also analyzing the uh, circuit in a clockwise fashion. Whenever they both match up, this then potential will represent a potential fall. Okay, so the potential actually falls along this resistance. And that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of easy to think about. Imagine you had like, you know, something flowing through this circuit like water. I mean, there's current here, right? But if you had water flowing through it and the water has a certain potential amount of energy before it hits this resistance, then after it leaves that resistance, it should then have less potential, right? Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, in order to identify what the potential fall is, you have to remember Ohm's law. V is equal to IR that the voltage or the potential is equal to the current that passes through the resistor multiplied by the value of the resistance. So therefore, what I can do is I can say, well, the voltage that's going to be taken out of the system, it's going to fall, the voltage is going to fall, is going to be equal to then the current that's flowing through it, and they label that as I2, multiplied then by the value of the resistance which they told you was R2, which is point, uh, 2.5. So in other words, V1 then, I'll label that V1, is going to, and you could label it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, uh, but it's going to be 2.5 I2. Now remember, this is going to be a fall, okay? This is the potential is going to fall, so we're going to throw it into this side of our loop rule. So maybe what we'll do is I'll create a little table. We'll do the, ri uh, we'll do the rises, and the falls, All right? Rises and falls. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put then this thing under the falls section. Uh, now, instead of writing, you know, V1 is equal to this, I'm just going to take this value, right? Because that represents the potential. All right, so that's gonna be 2.5 I2. Great. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to move on to the next thing. So the next thing we see as we travel around the circuit, right, as we travel around this particular circuit is, boop, we hit a battery, basically. Now, whenever you go from a low bar to a high bar, all right, you're moving, you're analyzing this with, you know, in the direction of the current there. Whenever you move from a low bar to a high bar, all right, the, that represents a potential rise. So low to high will be rise, okay? So this, they already gave us now the voltage, right? So we don't really need to do anything. So we're just, I'm just going to plug in the 18 there. Then we're going to continue our merry way. And now we got to get to D and we're like, uh-oh, we, we're going to pass through another resistance, right? And as we pass through that resistance, we notice we're still traveling in the direction of the stated current there in blue. So therefore that should be a potential fall. Now to speed this on up, you're simply going to take the value of the resistance, 0.5, 
and multiply it by the current. And they told you the current was I2, right? I2 is flowing through. So it's 0.5 I2. Now you're going to keep on going down. You're going to move Z on down. And you're going to get to E. And nothing's really happening along this path, so that's fine. But once you pass E, uh-oh, uh-oh, right? We get to another resistance. But here's the thing. Notice how you're analyzing the circuit in a clockwise fashion, but wait a minute, the current inside the circuit is moving in a counterclockwise fashion. So whenever you have this case, whenever you're analyzing it in one direction, and yet the current is moving in the other direction, that will basically represent the opposite. In other words, the potential is not going to fall here, the potential is going to rise. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to take the value of the resistance, 1.5, and I'm going to multiply it by the current, which is I3. Now, remember I put it on the rise category uh, because uh, they're opposite, right? The way I'm analyzing it, the way I'm applying loop rule is moving in the opposite direction in which the current is stated. So that takes care of that. Then I'm going to move on to the next thing. And the next thing I see is, uh-oh, another resistor. And I'm like, okay, I'm analyzing it clockwise, but oh, I3 is still moving counterclockwise, so I have a, f a rise here, right? So you're going to take that resistance, 0 0.5, and you're going to multiply it then by the stated current of I3. Boom. Now we get to the next part, okay? So now we're going to go mosey on down, boop, 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 and we're going to get to the battery. So it turns out that whenever we analyze a battery, we do not have to take into account the uh, current. We just have to take a look at what's going on in terms of the battery. Now, whenever you move from high to low in this case, because remember, we're analyzing this in a clockwise fashion, Whenever you move from high to low, it's a potential fall. So what you do is you then take the value of that potential. In this case, it's 45 volts. They gave it to us. If they didn't tell you the value, you would just be plugging in E sub 2. But what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the 45 volts under the falls category, 45. And now you're going to keep on going, and you're going to keep on going, and you're going to realize, well, nothing happens until we get back to A. So you're done. You applied the loop rule. Now, all that needs to happen here is all you now have to do, once you identify the rise and the falls, all you have to do is plug it into your formula appropriately. Okay? So let me move this on down maybe a little bit. And what happened to the top of the F? There it is. So the sum of all of the rises. So basically I'm going to use like a bracket. All right? You're going to take all of your rises, 18, and then you're going to sum them together plus then 1.5 I3, plus then 0 0.5 I3. And then you're going to subtract the sum of all of the falls. So plug in all of the falls. So you got 2.5 I2, plus, you're going to add them together, okay, 0.5 I2, plus then 45. And that's all going to equal zero. And this is now an applied loop rule, okay? Now you can distribute the negative sign if you like. That's fine with me. Those are then all going to represent negative values, right? Or you're going to subtract all of this. It doesn't matter. That's just algebra now. So, uh, you know, as far as the physics, the problem, the problem's over. All right, so this is how you would apply loop rule to this particular circuit. Hopefully that helps, guys. And if it did, like and subscribe. We really appreciate your help so much. We wouldn't be here without you. So I must thank you. Take care.